Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I graduated law school in 2021 and in this video, I go over nine things I do differently if I were to redo law school. Let's get into it. The first thing I would try to do is to keep an open mind. I went into law school wanting to be a immigration and human rights lawyer and as I took different courses, I changed my mind. My idea of what a lawyer does was heavily influenced by television and media, but it's not as glamorous as they make it out to be. For example, being an immigration lawyer requires a lot more than just providing legal advice. It also requires providing emotional support to clients who may be facing issues like deportation. This is heavy stuff and it's real life and I quickly realized that this area of law isn't for me. But I took different courses and I found other areas of interest. You may experience something similar and it's a lot easier to accept if you go in with an open mind. I encourage you to take different courses and who knows, you may find another area of interest to you and possibly a new career option as well. The second thing that I would do differently is participating in moots legal clinics, and applying for teaching assistant positions. Employers like to see well-rounded candidates, not just students with high grades. Looking back, I think I would have benefited more if I were more active in my law school community, but I was too worried about studying and getting the grades to make time for this. Participating in extracurriculars also gives you exposure to different areas of law and helps you figure out what you like and don't like. You also build transferable skills by participating in extracurriculars. For example, you can gain legal research skills by working as a teaching assistant, or advocacy skills by participating in a moot, and client interaction and communication skills by working at a legal clinic. Number three, don't buy into the competitiveness. Law school is competitive and it's a perfect environment to heighten your insecurities. Oftentimes, the students who say that, that they've done all the readings haven't. And so if you hear this, breathe. Don't let this get to you. I try to avoid these kinds of conversations because I know that it doesn't benefit me and it only makes me feel insecure or that I should be working harder. So I tried to change the topic instead or avoided these conversations altogether. I know that this can be hard because you're around people who are doing the same thing as you and it's a relatable topic that you're both going through. And for example, like, have you done all the readings? Yeah, I have. And so if you hear, yeah, I have, you may feel like you should have done more that you, sh you should say that you have too. And so remember that everyone is on their own path and maybe they've done the readings, but they forfeited their gym time or their uh, own personal time for that and by doing all the readings word for word maybe they pulled an all-nighter to do all those readings so take that into account and don't let that get to you in terms of you know you feeling like you're behind or that you should be working more you know your work work ethic so stick to that number four stay in your own lane study in a way that works for you some people do well in study groups while others prefer to study alone don't feel compelled to study a certain way because that's what everyone else is doing Try it out and see if it's for you. And if not, stick to what works. Figure out when you work best and work around those times. If you're a morning person, for example, go to bed early and wake up early so you can front load your work into the mornings. If you're a night owl, do the opposite. Number five, find a study area that isn't your law school library. Studying at the law school library was distracting for me. It would lead to distractions and to conversations with friends. I would also feel pressured to study more or to stay longer because that's what I saw everyone else doing. Instead, look for different study environments. This could be a coffee shop or your local library. Being in a different environment helped me relax and to get into study mode. Number six, prioritize your sleep and stay away from all nighters. There were a few nights where I was running on like four or five hours of sleep, but those cases were rare. This was because I knew that uh, if I didn't have at least seven hours of sleep, I'd be miserable and not productive. And so I made it a priority throughout my time in law school. Trust me or trust science, but getting enough sleep isn't just good for your health, but it's also good for boosting your memory game. And who doesn't want to have good memory during law school, especially with those hundreds of pages of readings? The process of learning and remembering new information takes place in three different stages. Stage one is acquisition. And this is when you come across new information. Stage two is consolidation. And this is when processes in your brain help stabilize learned information. And stage three is recall, when you access learned information after your brain has stored it. Acquisition and recall happen while you're awake. Memory consolidation, on the other hand, appears to happen during sleep, when the neural connections that develop lasting memories become stronger. Number seven, figure out how you manage stress and do more of it. What do you like to do when you're stressed and can't think straight? Is it going for a walk, calling up a friend, for a rant session, or playing the piano? Law school is stressful with competing deadlines and quick turnaround times. 
I've even had final exams back to back. While these factors are beyond my control, I can take charge of how I handle the inevitable stress. Effectively managing the stress is the key to preventing burnout and to help you smoothly navigate through your semesters. This means making more time for the things you enjoy doing before law school. Feeling guilty about doing these fun things when you can be doing readings instead is normal. Remember that it's doing these fun things for yourself that will keep you going and prevent burnout in the long term. For me, exercise really helped with stress. Going to the gym four times a week really helped me stay sane. I left the gym feeling a sense of accomplishment, which made other areas of my life, like the constitutional exam, less daunting. Number eight, it's okay to say no. As a law student, you don't have much time for yourself when you factor in the classes, tutorials, and study time. This means sometimes you'll have to say no to certain events and activities. Don't be afraid to say no if you're struggling with finding a balance. Setting boundaries is not only okay, but expected as you navigate your way through law school. And number nine, there may be a drop in your grades in your first year of law school. Receiving my midterm grades in 1L was not a fun experience. I was used to receiving high 80s, low 90s in university, and I was in for a shock when I did not get those similar grades in my first year of law school, and I was disappointed when I got back 70s. I had to sit with this initial shock at first, but then I realized that this was a transition period. Law school courses, exams, and marking are different from your undergraduate programs. You have to learn to adjust to this. For one, law school exams are open book, and this is different for me coming from a history background where my exams were based on how well I could memorize things. My final exam marks were better and I learned to accept the new baseline. Once you experience the law school exam process and you adjust your study tactics, if you continue to put in the work, your grades will rebound to something you're more comfortable with. Law school was a roller coaster of emotions, from stress to feeling accomplished. I learned a lot about myself along the way and I hope my experience can give you some tips for your own journey. Thank you for watching and good luck!